So, today's video is going to be a short video. I don't have a lot really going on. I've not done any work on the cabinets in the kitchen um, this week. So I've taken a couple days off. I've, I've had a couple of the projects to take care of, building a couple of bird houses. Um, and it's been kind of cold here. We had a trace of snow the other day and we're supposed to get more. And I'm sliding off my chair. But um, it's gotten down in the 20s out here in the evenings, and today it's struggling to even get up in the 40s. Um, I've got three heaters rolling around in here, trying to keep it warm enough. Uh, I've got one birdhouse or a, a cardinal nest box made out of cedar that I'm putting some uh, clear coat finish on that's taken a while to dry. Um, I've actually had to sand it down and restart. Is it? Um, I don't know if it was the, the cold weather overnight where, where it dro dried the other day or not, but it had a cloudiness to the uh, to the clear sealant. I didn't like that, so I sanded it down and I've started over. Um, and with a heater directed towards it, it seems to be drying a little better, but still taking quite a long time to dry. So, um, that's not really the purpose of this video today, because uh, I just, I wasn't thinking of doing a birdhouse video. And I don't remember if I've done a cardinal nest box video or not. It's pretty simple. If I haven't done one and you want me to do one, let me know and I can sure do it. Um, really the purpose today for the video is we've had so many changes this year. Um, so many, so many, uh, so many things going on that have made what we do here uh, difficult, to say the least. With the with, the, uh, with getting laid off earlier this year and not being able to find employment. Uh, having unemployment run out. Um, our government at the federal level bickering back and forth on whether or not to uh, extend unemployment benefits at the federal level to anybody or not through the pandemic, all while they're getting a paycheck. Um, Just, it's made it very difficult to actually stay here and do what we're doing. Uh, neither of us have outside job. Um, we're trying to expand on my wife's business with the woodworking, as well as get her business going. Building both of our channels, she's got a better, she's, she's, got, she's had her channel going longer than me. So she has a little, a little more going for her on her channel. Um, I'm just a little fledgling channel, I guess you could say. But it's just made it very difficult. Um, some days I don't feel like doing videos. I don't feel like really doing much of anything. I'm, I'm not a very, I'm not a real outgoing individual anyhow. I don't go into crowds. I don't really do a lot of that stuff. Um, this channel really, for me, is more about leaving something for my children to see what their father was doing uh, after they grew up and moved out, began their own lives. As we're not anywhere near each other, they don't have a means of coming to visit. They have their own life. They're in Washington State. Of course, we're in Arkansas now, where we were in Texas before. But at any rate, um, with the way things are, staying here on the homestead uh, is proving to be a bit difficult without income. We have no streams of income right now or very little streams of income. So we're kind of living on what we have and trying to minimize what we need. 
but at the same time, I'm 53 and my wife's not that far behind me. I won't say how old she is. I'll leave that to her. Um, you know, I'm, I have my own disability. I'm a veteran. She's limited in things as well from injuries. We both have injuries. So finding employment's not easy to do around here that you can do um, because of the limited physical limitations. Um, and it seems that if you are overqualified, you're, you're, you're kind of messed up in that area if you're overqualified. And then there's other areas where you could probably do the job, but you're underqualified. Um, And then the jobs that you could do if you were younger and were in better physical shape, um, if you weren't all messed up, if your body wasn't beat up the way it is, and that's something that if you're younger, you should think about um, because when you get old, a little older, your body starts to tell you exactly what it can and cannot do, and whether you like it or not. Um, your body will limit you. <coughs> the blessings are that we've been in an area where uh, we haven't been affected by the health issues that others have through the pandemic. We know of people who have been sick, but we ourselves have been careful and limited our outings um, and we're not sick we haven't been sick so but um, something that if you're thinking of moving into a rural area that you may want to um, put into the equation is the area you're going to move into what is the job market like you may have a job now or you may not need a job now, but you might need a job later. And if the job you have now ends, do you have a plan B? Do you have another job opportunity that might be there? And for us right now, the answer is we didn't think about it and no. <laughs> so we really didn't think that, that hard about a job market out here. So, I mean, you make your you make your um, plans, you make your choices, and you you hope for the best. Uh, for us, it's it's not been the best. I guess you could say. Um, good jobs are not close by, they're an hour, hour and a half away, and that's if you can get a job. And the jobs that are local are, I mean, it's an income, but it's not, it's not a whole lot of anything, and it takes you away all day long um, from being on your homestead. So the things that you would be doing on your homestead, gardening, taking care of animals, things like that, if you're not around the homestead, you can't do that. You're limited. Um, we're not set up for both of us to be gone for extended periods of time um, with predators in the area. If you have your animals out, chickens, ducks, whatever the case may be, and you're out of here, you won't know if you have a predator lurking through the area until you come home and find either all your ducks or chickens um, torn apart and dead um, or you're missing a couple so um, I guess what I'm saying here is we're getting to a point where we're gonna have to make some hard choices and one of those choices might be that we have to move somewhere else a little closer into a town that has more job opportunities available for us, um, 
important. Because the things that we were trying to do out here, we're not able to do right now. And it's, uh, I think, more to do with the, the way the year has gone uh, with the pandemic and all that, with, with lockdowns, shutdowns, people losing their jobs, people, other people being uh, financially struggling. So, uh, I guess that's, that's really where I'm going with all this is we're just not sure. We're trying to figure it all out. Figure out what we're going to do with our animals if we do have to decide to make that move. And uh, do it in a way that we don't feel like a failure and we don't regret the move. So anybody who is planning to make a move out in the rural areas because of the things that have happened in 2020, you need to make sure that when you do that move, you're not putting yourself in a worse position than what you already currently are in. Um, so I guess I'll go ahead and leave it at that. We've not made a decision. We're just talking things through. But uh, it's, uh, it's a possibility, I guess. So, anyhow, hope everybody's having a great day, great week, and uh, see you on the next video.